Oh, we thank you for watching. We're so thankful for all the inquiries through our TikTok, Vertiva Grass King, and our this YouTube, Vertiva Grass King Summer. Now, this is series number 12 of 15. That's 12 of 15. So, as time allows you, please view the remaining 11. Uh, we've got... Um, um, today we're actually launching 13 or 15 also in Portrait. So we've only got two more to complete the 15 series. And then we're moving on uh, for a new series too. It's going to be, it'll start off with one of 50. So that way we're, we're expressing in number, in, in, in format, the journey of the benefits to the communities. We are investing in sustainable organic farming we're really giving free fertilizer consultancy advice the free use of our vertebra this is a powerful combination it's going to adjust it's, a, it's it's adjusting and creating not only organic awareness the results and the testimonies uh, of the farmers are just powerful uh, testimony for our sos organic fertilizer but we are broad and we are pursuing this on a global scale over 2015-16 we're going to start multiple community projects with a similar program so please support our channel please view the other 12 um, uh, other 11 video series uh, for the community this is to do with Karabar Cooperative in Sabah an incredible forward thinking advanced um, small cooperative with small farmers but with a big vision to go organic and help the community aware of uh, of health as wealth and and they see the vision long term and that to transform their community into more healthy wealthier people once again all inquiries are welcome we're global thank you so much from vertebra technology solutions this first video is the reality that we delivered. We was consulting, we supplied the fertilizer at no charge free for the first three months, unlimited volume. This particular farm is a great professional, small scale, but a very, a very beautiful little farm. Now he's seen the powerful results. This farmer here has got a seven ton tank. He turned a rainwater tank you can see him activating this massive okay, this is free a organic fertiliser use. This is the next He's also got an incredible, the last uh, I think it's today. about five or seven acres, um, amazing amount of pots. But this guy's getting real uh, results really in his, uh, from his so tropical trees. Okay, he's a real experienced farmer. Again, a great here, testimony. But this is what we're uh, able to do, all please. All inquiries are welcome globally. Um, you can see the house in the back. Please of check out our YouTube and TikTok. And Please Julia subscribe, and for, fruit trees follow, and, okay. and like the videos. And this is a seven ton tank. Okay, so uh, he's used a few ton already, and they've been getting amazing results in colour and 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 and, sh and and new growth colour. And he's noticed a lot of progress already. And this is rainy season, pouring rain every day. Okay, so I advised him um, to continue on fertilising uh, once a week, even in the rain. Before the rain starts, after the rain, it doesn't matter. See, you can see there is a watering system. You want to show me something? This is his wife's um, potsler. And there's nothing better when you start putting SOS in these pots, but... Okay, today is the 15th of uh, September, no, November, sorry, November 2025. Okay, we're on a 25-acre property, okay, that's at the, uh, in, in, in the Papa region, Sabah, Malaysia. And look at this beautiful vertebra grass that we planted. We're going to do a boundary fence of the whole 25 acres. Now, that's a big area. Can you see here? All this that you see here is a part of the 25 acres. And this is the boundary fence here going that way. So it's basically all that strip there. Those palm oil trees are not a part of the 25, that whole strip to the freeway. Okay, so we just, we come here to do another planting. We just planted these with allowing the water uh, of the natural rain uh, to 
uh, to water them. And they're such a hardy, such a powerful, you know, um, survivor. They are the ultimate survivor. Uh, and we fertilise these strongly, okay, when we plant them and dug a deep hole. But have a look at the shoot there. And that tender leaf, now there's deers here and other animals which was expecting them to eat possibly. Have a look at this here. There's a powerful, powerful solution. Now we're going to create a 25 acre fence. So we're talking about millions. Then we're going into a large scale plantation here. Okay, so this is a, another project, a bit of a technology solutions. Okay, see so what we've done, we've just cut that there. It's going to boost the roots now um, because the leaf is vulnerable because of animals here. Nevertheless, uh, they survive. See, we just cut that one there. You wait to see how quick these are going to grow. Okay, there's my partner just cutting them there. So you imagine how quick they're going to shoot. And then also the uh, that's a mulch, that leaf there. And that, that mulch is the key to the palm oil trees that he's got on this plantation and rubber trees and all other fruit trees. Okay? And we'll cut this one here. We'll leave the weed. That's actually a herbal, that, that, that weed there. It's a beautiful vertebra grass. And you cut all of them. It's okay. Okay, same principle. So these are going to absolutely burn. And we're planting more. We're going to plant another 20, 30. But we're going to go ahead with a whole hedge. The whole uh, 25 acre uh, hedge of the whole farm. That's, that's literally millions. Hundreds of thousands, it'll go to millions by four, before it's finished. Okay, so now we're gonna now we're gonna plant some more, and then we're gonna give these a SOS organic liquid fertilizer. So these are so deep rooted, even if a water buffalo come and chewed down to the base, it's not gonna kill. This is a survivor, the miracle that that can survive anything. Like any young plant, you need to water them in the beginning, right? You can see, there's a liquid SOS fertilizer. Again, there's another bag of of uh, of, uh, of of the, the we'll uh, yeah, we'll plant there. I oh, just see this is liquid we brought. There's my planter stick. Now today was just a site visit, just the, the view to make sure the animals to see just what was actually eaten. Okay, because there's a lot of deer here, and they're eating his uh his starch plants. Okay. Now, once again, this is a, um, a, a forest or a, a plantation, 25 acres, and we're building a border fence. Can you imagine? Because this is in preparation for a major, um, vertifer plantation of vertifer grass king suburb. Okay. Um, and strategic landslides and there's a lot of erosion that we're doing our, uh, our, um, our research with. Okay. So these are going to just be trimmed at the moment because they're getting very little water. Okay, you can see now we put the uh, the SOS liquid fertilizer. That's the key. After planting, then subject to the weather, it could be three or four days later or a week later, right? Once again, it depends on the actual. Uh, uh, we recommend three or four days, and then uh, after that, another week. Okay, especially in that very first delivery. These are because these are in pots, lah, right? And they're large. Uh, even every two weeks is acceptable, but. Again, it depends. If you water every week, it's going to definitely grow fast in that, in that very, uh, in that uh, short term. Okay, look at the quality of that liquid. That's SOS liquid pure worm cars. With that, this is what we call symbiotic planting. And this is we're just marking this tree because this is a research tree. Uh, we've already know the results. We already it's a proven technology already, but nevertheless. Uh, we've just started this new farm, 25 acres, so we're just highlighting today. Today is the 25th of November, 2024. So we put six six under this tree, and we're marking it really well. Okay, you can see. Now, these weren't massive clusters, but you'll see what they're going to grow into. And when we come back, we're going to be fertilising them again and replanting uh, the, the, the hedge, the boundary hedge. That's going to be a long term, but we're going to have multiple numbers of people full time early next year. We're actually going to be hitting it really hard in January, February. I mean, teams of people are going to be planting. It's a big job. Do you need a connector? Mm. Okay. So we're just now watering with the SOS organic liquid fertilizer. This is the real key. It'll supercharge. It'll settle. 
uh, all the soil around the root system and then hopefully the, the monsoon rain will water them. We come back maybe one week or two like that. La. But there's such a hub. But those ones that we cut, the established ones, how many months old do you reckon they are? Three or four? One. Those first ones? Two months. Two months, sorry, only two months, yeah. It is roughly two months, isn't it? A lot now. Okay, do we do it? That's beautiful. Oh, wow, this is, they're going to, like I said, imagine the boundary. I think there's 12 now or 13 clusters. 12, isn't it? Mm. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve, twelve. There's 12 new clusters here. And they're the one that we got cut. Look at all the shoots coming off that now. Okay. And that one there. Okay, we're planting around this palm oil tree here. This is just the, the second one on this property uh, where we're going to uh, plant everywhere where there's palm oil trees. So this is, like I said, this is uh, uh, the birth, the symbiotic partnership between the vertifer grass and the palm oil tree because all of these on this farm is desperate for, for organic food. They've got the same toxic poison that all the rest of the trees normally have so this is the genuine symbiotic uh, relationship partnership okay and we're going to dig look at it look how mature those bulbs are and the beautiful shoot there and you can see how we plant them is that that simple okay but the key is we're going to fertilize with the sos fertilizer and you will see the benefit this tree is going to stand out 100 percent. now please everyone look at my uh, channel called uh it's, uh, I think, 7 or 30, and it's a palm oil tree plantation. It's 150 acres, and it's got the maximum results without chemical, yeah, without pesticides. Know. There's increased growth, color, uh, speed of, of harvest, uh, harvesting, uh, words, uh, ripening. All of that is because the, uh, the nutrients and the, and, the, and the benefits. See, we actually marked it with that bag there. This one tree. And we just earlier plant those 12 just here. See that, that area we, we just plant there. So you can know how big 25 acres is. It's huge. Okay, so we're actually, uh, this is another mega project with massive numbers of vertebra grass and, and strategic. And there's multiple uh, landslides and, and, and erosion we, and, and road erosion. So we're going to be fixing all those problems up uh, here. Okay, that's a very small little cluster, but very, very mature in its bulbs. And this is simply how we're put it, putting it in. The key is not only to dig it deep like that a little bit, um, but the key is the liquid fertilizer after planting that. So you can see now, yeah, yeah, one. Oh, maybe not. Okay, you can see now we've put the, uh, the SOS liquid fertilizer. That's the key. After planting, then subject to the weather, it could be three or four days later or a week later, right? Once again, it depends on the actual, uh, uh, we recommend three or four days and then uh, after that, another week. Okay, especially in that very first, these are, because these are in pots, right? And they're large, uh, even every two weeks is acceptable. But again, it depends. If you water every week, it's going to definitely grow fast in that, in that very, uh, in that, uh, Short term. Okay, look at the quality of that liquid. That's SOS liquid pure worm cast. With a, this is what we call symbiotic planting. And this is, we're just marking this tree because this is a research tree. Uh, we've already know the results. We're already, it's a proven technology already. But nevertheless, uh, we've just started this new farm, 25 acres. So we're just highlighting today. Today is the 25th of November 2024. So we put six, six under this tree and we're marking it really well. Okay, you can see. Now these weren't massive clusters, but you'll see what they're going to grow into. 
And when we come back, we're going to be fertilising them again and replanting uh, the, the, the hedge, the boundary hedge. That's going to be a long term, but we're going to have multiple numbers of people full time early next year. We're actually going to be hitting it really hard in January, February. I mean, teams of people are going to be planting. It's a big job. I'd say today's the 25th of uh, November 2024. We're going to be planting thousands of these trees. So this is the first one. Oh, sec actually, it's the second tree. We've got to go to the first tree now. And it's just amazing the results. We isolated a tree which was uh, in, in a, a soil erosion area that was suffering. And even the hardness of the soil was on a like a rocky... Um, uh, area and wait till you see the results this is nothing like there's nothing that can replace the combination of this natural uh, living uh, liquid organic fertilizer and um, and the vertebra complementary synergy this is the key to the palm oil industry the fronds are so much different they're smaller wait till you see how much the growth will be because of this this the six plants around this tree and that little bit of liquid fertilizer, this is the key to stable, the sustainability. This will stop chemical pesticides, stop uh, chemical fertilizer for the palm oil industry with the combination of cutting the leaf, okay, and having that as a mulch. And please look, check out our video. I think we're up to about nine or 30. That series that we're adding to um, is just all about palm oil tree plantation and the massive saving of hundreds and hundreds of trees that's no more fertilized with chemical or pesticide. And it's heavy mulching, it's a symbiotic relationship, symbiotic partnership with the soil and the vertebra, SOS, and the results are dynamic. Okay, and I tell you, we're getting into responses from all around the world, asking us, can you please come, can you please advise us what to do, and asking questions. Uh, so this is really working, it's gonna transform um, agriculture so the same principle applies to all commercial trees we're doing now doing um two Mulsan king durian plantation breaking all the normal uh rules of of standard chemical um application of the valuable Mulsan king we're plant, planting 10 20 50 vertebra around them we're mulching okay exactly what the tree needs um and because and, and, it's not chemically uh it's not chemical uh a system it's a natural organic system and the trees are loving it and they've got less disease and definite growth but wait till you have when Musso king is a fairly sensitive tree when it comes to floods and droughts and real harsh weather they suffer they take long time to recover two three six months and and, and the only valuable thing about a Musso king is if it's premium if it's not a premium fruit the fruit is worth the same as all the other durian so it's the premium, and with premium, you need to have optimum soil um, uh, conditions, and that's what only nature can provide, not chemical. Chemical is not sustainable, it's expensive, and it comes with massive side effects and cost. And who wants to purchase uh, chemical fruit when you can have organic fruit? Okay, so this is the second tree on this 25 acres that we planted just earlier. We planted another six or eight clusters. These are about two months old, maybe two and a half months now, like two and a half months, roughly. So you can see how established they are. Have a look at this here. Remember, we, we deliberately planned it and highlighted with the blue bag there that this is on that uh, 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 road and it's been cut now uh, by the tachi, allowing all the roots there. So it's definitely got a... Uh, a disadvantage but with this extra nutrients and extra uh, organic fertilizer look how rich that is um, this tree has already now look at the green look at the green extra shoots here they never had that before so it's, it's got a, a spurt of growth okay so and you can see how hardy and how amazing this miracle grass is la. It can, and this is rock hard, you know, you can see that's root bound and it's extremely hard digging holes in it. But because the, the roots are like anchors, like nails of the earth, it's called. So 
We are fertilising now with SOS Organic Fertiliser. This is a symbiotic partnership, okay, with a palm oil tree. Yeah. And this, and we're going to be planting this whole plantation. It's a part of a 25-acre property. Okay, so there's a pineapple tr plantation down here. And was just over there earlier with the boundary fence and the other th second tree. Okay, and as, as I said, we're going to be planting. And look at this here. Look how generous we have been with the rest of that liquid organic fertilizer. But have a look at the growth. Have a look how stable and strong and beautiful they are. Okay, so this is a beneficiary. This is tree is now shooting the inner core of all those fronds and there's growth. And it's going to have a lot of powerful fruit on this tree. This is, this is what we did. This is why we started. I love this vertebra here. Right next to the, 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 the uh, edge of this terrace. Look at that there. Look how big that terrace is. Okay, you can see here now. 